Now, a cargo ship from Turkey bound for India has been hijacked by Yemen's Houthi rebels in the Red Sea. Now, the Houthis have released a video of the hijacking. The video on your screens there is something which the Houthi rebels have in fact released, claiming this to be the hijacking video. Now, remember, the ship was carrying around 25 crew members belonging to various nations. Israel's denied claims of it being an Israeli ship and also indicated that no Indians were on board the Galaxy Leader, which is the ship on your screens there now. In fact, the Houthis, backed by Iran, have vowed to target Israel-linked vessels in the Red Sea. And this is being seen as an indicator of a proxy war, which is emanating out of the region in the backdrop of the Israel-Hamas war. My colleague Kadambini Sharma has more. Well, a cargo ship from Turkey bound for India has been hijacked by Yemen's Houthi rebels in the Red Sea. The ship was carrying around 25 crew members belonging to various nations. Houthis had claimed they seized an Israeli ship which was denied by Israel. Information from the office of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu also indicated that no Indians were on board the Galaxy Leader, the name of the ship. The Houthis backed by Iran have vowed to target Israeli linked vessels in the Red Sea. And IDF had tweeted that the hijacking of a cargo ship has taken place by Houthis near Yemen in the southern Red Sea and it's a very grave incident of uh, global uh, consequence. Now there are the reports uh, of, uh, there are no reports of any Indians uh, in uh, these, there are no Indians uh, and also there are no uh, Israelis on this ship. So this is one thing which has been a kind of relief for India but the nationalities are as diverse as Ukrainian, Bulgarian, Filipinos and Israel has said it is not an Israeli ship. It has accused Iran Iran and Iran has denied. Houthis have warned no Israeli ships will be allowed to pass this area. Now, uh, they have demanded that uh, Israeli attacks on Gaza should stop and till this happens, they will keep uh, 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 attacking the ships. But this, when this major, uh, this is the major shipping route which is around 1300 kilometers from Suez Canal where this incident has happened. Houthis have already joined forces with the Hamas against Israel and we have seen the attacks taking place. But the fact is, uh, the question being asked is, who does this ship actually belong to? Israeli officials insist it's a British ship being operated by Japan, but some reports based on public shipping database say it's associated with Ray car carriers. Now, Ray car carriers was founded by Israeli billionaire Abraham Rami Unger. Israelis uh, have called this a hijack and an act of terror, and this incident has suddenly raised the stakes even more and may fan the conflict even further with Saudi and US getting more involved in the situation.